Hey. Oh. Oh, 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 you got you gotta make sure you get the chins in the shadow. There we go. Uh, hey! Oh yeah! <laughs> that look. Oh, that's a keeper. That's a keeper. Oh man, there's nothing finer than uh taking a good selfie of yourself. Yeah. Well that that's unless the selfie's not really working well. And I found one today that wasn't working so well. And uh, I'm going to show you how to fix uh, a model using states today. Yeah, it, it's time you know how to do this. And I have a lot of thoughts about what I'm going to show you. Let's get going on this. Before we get going, smash that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It helps. Thank you so very, very, very much. Hey everybody, it's your pal Ron Howard from Extreme Sequences, and today on Monday Minutes, that's right, I'm bringing you another one. I'm going to talk about states effects, and primarily we're going to talk about this cute little animated, I don't know if it's animated, I think the people that put their faces in the hole, that's going to be animated, but this is a pixel selfie. I believe this started... Uh, with build a light show in the UK and it gained quite a bit of popularity. Uh, people love going to our light shows and putting their face in props and getting a selfie and boom, there you go. It's pretty festive and a lot of fun to do. So I was uh, listening in the official X light support group today and somebody said, Hey, uh, I've got this selfie and you know, I think GE carries it and build a light show carries it. And um, they said, you know, I'm, I'm trying to get the colors to work on this thing, but, uh, I, you know, I, I'm having some troubles. And then one of the devs said, well, you know, you could use on effects, but that's not the most effective way to, to work with that. And I agree. It's not. I mean, it still works, but it's not. So I decided to put on my uh, Columbo hat and said, hmm, let's find out what's going on here. So let's take a look at this. On the left here, in this corner, we have a selfie. And what are we looking at here? I think this is, yeah, 350 nodes. And it's an RGB prop that people would stand behind and put their faces in and take photos of themselves. And one of the things that's neat in x Lights is the ability to control the colors of sections of a model. And in this case, there happens to be submodels. So if I click on the submodels here, we are going to see that there is an outline. Let me scoot this over. There is a hat. There is a jacket, collar, buttons, hand, face. So you get the gist. There's just all these different components to this model. Great. Okay. So if I want to have this thing turn on and have different colors, I suppose I could create a new sequence, make an animation sequence, and let's just go to the selfie original. So if I put an effect on the selfie original, we get this, the whole thing turns on. Well, that's not what we want. So we can come down here and we can say, okay, well, here's the outline, and then maybe I'm gonna put a hat and go with a different color and make that red, whatever I want to do. And then, you, you know, you could just start doing this and just kind of go to town and just find different colors. Yellow, that is probably not the color we want, but I think you get the idea that this model is going to force us to do this at the submodel level. I don't want to do that and I don't want you to do that. So I'm going to teach you how to do this with a model that either does have submodels like this or may not have submodels. So I'm going to delete this nonsense. This is not what we want to do. And by the way, here are my thoughts on models like this. I, I, I call these static models. Uh, Nutcracker is a great one that you can get from Gilbert Engineering, Boscoyo, uh, probably others that I feel in a show should just look stately and have the effects just on or off or have some type of animation, but 
it should just look like a nutcracker through most shows. That's just how I feel because I think sometimes we try to animate way too much. And by animate, I mean we're trying to get the arms and sleeves of a nutcracker to move with the same effects you have on the eaves of your house. It doesn't look good. I don't think so. I mean, it can. It's a matter of taste. It's a matter of opinion. I don't, I don't want to call anyone's baby ugly, but I just think that sometimes leaving those with specific colors makes the overall presentation better. So in this case, this job for this selfie here is just to look beautiful and have people take pictures without the colors blinking all over the place. So I'm going to show you how to set this up using states. And something about states, I don't remember when it was born, who was behind it, what dev put it together. But I remember I was teaching my first hands-on class to 65 people at uh, Christmas Expo in Las Vegas. So this is right after COVID. And it was the, one of the first things they had open to people getting together. And there was a gentleman there and we were asking, you know, what, what are some things you're hoping to learn from class? And he goes, well, I want to learn about states. And I said, which one? There are 50, right? <laughs> and I really, I didn't know anything about states. I just, it was, I was oblivious to it. Didn't give it any time or attention. And over time, I've gotten to know a lot more about it. States is a very powerful uh, effect that could do more than just what I'm going to show you. I did another tutorial where I showed you how to make the wings bounce on the Gilbert Engineering Rosa tombs and how to create some static colors there. And uh, if you didn't get to watch that, you can go check that out. Just uh, go to my... YouTube channel and search uh, states and you'll get to it, I promise. Let's talk about this. So we saw that this has some submodels, but does it have a states effect? Let's look on our states and we'll go in here. No, it does not have any states in here. Well, the good news is two ways you can do this. First of all, we need to give it a name. So we're going to click add and we're going to call this, uh, let's just call this a selfie. OG. Okay. And what I can do is I, if I don't have sub models, I can start creating them. Uh, I could say hat H A T by the way, just use lowercase and no spaces. Don't use weird characters here. And then I could go over here and I could start building it. I could actually find the hat wherever it may be uh, somewhere over here in the center. Mm -hmm. And so I could do this in order if I want, or just grab these numbers and build this. Or I could put in a range. If I don't know what the range is, then I could just grab these numbers until I have them all in here to get the outline of it. I'm hoping I'll have to do that, okay? Because there's an easier way if submodels already exist. Okay, so I'm going to delete that. I'm going to right click and I am going to, oops, let me get out of here, right click, import sub model. Now, something I would love to see happen would be the ability to right click, select all, and bring all of these in. That dog does not hunt. If I try to bring all these in, let's see what it does. It just, it just brings in one. That's not what I want. That is not even remotely close to what I want. It gives me the choice, unless I'm doing something wrong, you know, because I am going to force custom colors here in a minute, but I really want to be able to bring them in. So what I did with this other one is I did this one at a time. First of all, I don't need an outline. I'm not going to bring in an outline, but I am going to bring in a hat. And with the hat, I'm just going to call this hat. And then there is my submodel. But I noticed right away that I really want this to be separate, so I needed there to be a brim. So I fixed that later. Then I would import another submodel, and here would be my jacket. And I'm going to call this jacket. And over here, I could double click on the color, and I could force that color, that jacket, to be a specific color. So in this case here, let's just make this green, close out of that. Now the jacket is green. Okay, if I want the hat to be red, I can make the hat red. There you go. Get out of there. And then right click in here, import submodel. And you just do this throughout. 
And this is going to be color. There we go. Maybe I want the color to be red. There you go. And so you do this process until you have everything defined. Okay. So let me cancel out of here because I have the one here that I touched up. And by touch up, I mean, I went in here to our sub models and I found out that there are a couple things missing. There was a hat brim missing and then there was a snowball that I wanted to isolate. So I went to the hat and I took this section out. So I simply hit shift and I deleted all these that I didn't want. I just wanted this hat here because I wanted to make it red. I wanted to make the hat brim white. And then I wanted to have the snowball all by itself so I could make it white. Okay, everything else was already in there. So that was pretty easy peasy. Then I went to the states and I brought them in one at a time. And I don't know why I have to bring them in one at a time. I'm sure there is something I am missing. And I went in here and I colored each of these sub models, now states, to look like this because this big open area is where people stick their faces and if you don't want one of these colors and you want the jacket or the hat to be blue you simply go up to the hat and say hey you know what i want you to be blue and there's your blue hat and you click ok and you're done even better what if you have two of these you could just copy and paste this and change the color of one so now you have two different models with two different colors. This could be great for a nutcracker, perhaps. So sky's the limit as far as what you want to do with the colors. Now, when we get to the sequencer, uh, this couldn't be easier. This is one of the benefits of this, and that is simply pulling down the AB. There's your states. And we will put this on the... Da, 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 where's my selfie? Selfie, selfie. There we go. Nice. There we go. And there's the selfie. It's hard to see that blue. I do know that. But it is there, I promise you. Now, I could go to my layout and I could make the pixels much bigger in the appearance on this. Let's just make this four. And then I promise you, you will be able to see it much, much better in the sequencer. Boom. There we go. And you could change the color of this any way you like, easily. So here's my recommendation to all the coral vendors out there that don't currently have states for their models is uh, get to work. Make some states. This is just one thing. We, we know that you can get hands waving and bats flapping their wings and all that kind of stuff. But I think there's a lot of static props out there. Nativity scenes. There's just so many props out there that really just should look kind of cool like this. And it's simple as dragging a state effect on here because this is using the selfie. If I had four of the different types of models that had states, I could choose the one I want and go to town. And this is now an easier way to add colors to a model with states in X lights than having to go through and each time paint and color with the on effect. Uh -uh. But there's more for those of you that must, must, must include effects with your models. You can still do that because guess what? All I got to do is put this bad boy on here. And I could, I don't know, let's go with uh, white. And we should be able to get that to work. There we go. Well, let's just go up per preview. And I got to bring, this poor guy's got to go back up over here. There we go. And number of chases. And so now you can have your cake and eat it too. You can have your state effect. And then you could have any effects under it override it it's as simple as that maybe you want the collar to have a butterfly maybe that collar requires a butterfly so you could do this throughout the sequence you have complete control of what your model should do for me i like 
this. If this was a nutcracker in my show, I'd have something really cool like this. I would probably create some effects, of course, turning it on and off with fade ins and fade outs, maybe having it do some shimmers and things like that, maybe some sparkles or whatnot. But, uh, you know, I, I want people to see that it's a cool looking nutcracker, in this case, a selfie, because people are going to take pictures with it. All right. How simple was that? States. Simple, 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 easy peasy technology right there for you. All right. That's all I've got for you. I'm Ron. This has been Monday Minutes. We'll catch you real soon on our next Monday Minutes. You take care now. Music.